We've all had a run-in with burnout. We've all been in a place where we had to keep going long after our bodies and our brains said stop. Of course, we all know the impact that overworking ourselves can have on our mental health, but today I want to talk to you about what it does to our bodies physically. If you're going too hard for too long, working too much, and trying to push past moments of mental strain, even when you know you should maybe step away from it and come back to it later, you're going to feel it all over. Your mind and your body are connected, so it's important that you show your body some love. That's why in this video, we'll cover the difference between being sleepy and straight up exhausted, why stress makes you feel wired and not tired, and how that affects your immune system. Plus, I'll share six ways that you can fight that burnout so you can bounce back and help your body fight the negative effects that come with stress. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Okay, so I know we've all experienced stress or maybe even burnout at some point, no matter who you are or what profession you have. It's a normal part of life. But what isn't a normal part of life is running yourself ragged to the point that it makes you sick. Have you been there before? For decades, doctors and psychologists have been studying the link between stress and burnout and our immune system. And they found that there's a major connection. And funny enough, they found that there's a difference between feeling sleepy and feeling burnt out. Based on studies done at the University of Michigan, it kind of comes down to whether or not you could plop down and fall asleep right here, right now, if you had the opportunity to, of course, or whether or not you're having trouble staying alert. Those are signs of being genuinely sleepy and can probably be solved with a good old fashioned nap. But burnout, on the other hand, has several causes that aren't always because of sleep. In fact, being in that constant state of stress can actually make you feel more wired, making it even harder to fall asleep. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle. You're exhausted, but you can't sleep. So you feel worse because you didn't actually get any sleep. And then you're stressed because you didn't sleep. And it keeps going on and on until the actual cause of burnout is addressed. And like I mentioned earlier, this can wreak havoc on your immune system. When you sleep, your immune system is providing those essential infection fighting substances like antibodies and cytokines, which fight off those pesky invaders in your body that make you feel sick. But if you don't sleep, you don't give your body the chance to produce them, making you more prone to getting sick or staying sick longer. Chronic stress can also present itself as something you can actually feel you know, other than being sick. This can include chest pains, headaches, stomach aches, high blood pressure, and tons more. And because stress triggers the fight or flight response in our bodies, ramping up the production of adrenaline and cortisol, doing that for too long is bad news bears. Adrenaline increases your heart and breathing rates, giving your body more energy and oxygen in case it needs to react. But if you aren't reacting and there's no tangible threat that you've suddenly got to sprint away from and you're constantly in this state, it can do a lot of damage to your body in the long run. And your chance for heart attacks, hypertension and strokes increases dramatically. So what do you do? Here are six simple ways to fight burnout before it beats up on your body. Start by simplifying your schedule and prioritizing what's most important. Rest when your body tells you to, if you can, or set a bedtime for yourself. Make time for the things that you enjoy. Yes, the chores around the house can wait. Spend some time reflecting on the things that you've accomplished. This can give you a real positive boost. Get moving and get some exercise. Exercise produces endorphins, which can act as a natural painkiller and reduce stress. Plus, exercising helps you sleep better at night. And finally, take breaks during the day and actually spend some time away from your desk. Remember, it's not selfish to take care of yourself. We need you around. 
And if you need help wrangling all this together and trying to find a version of work-life balance that works for you, my DMs are always open over at Anna D. Cornick on Instagram, or you can drop a comment down below right now. And if you want even more info on battling burnout and overwhelm, check out the video that's on your screen right now. I'm gonna show you how to give overwhelm a swift kick in the pants without adding more to your plate. Because honestly, what's the point of stress and time management tools if they're just going to add more stress? Totally not about that. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. See you then.